Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share. This video, we're going to talk about the fact that Azriel is now saying that she's going all in on advocacy in efforts to help others. <laughs> it's not like we didn't see this coming. And it's again, this isn't a video to bash Azrael just to point out the character of this person because all these accusers want to tiptoe over to this advocacy word and that's just the slap in the face to all assault victims in my opinion if you just sit back and let me show you why I say that. Nothing's doing something by posting my story on the state shape room and screenshotting it. Okay, first of all, I've always had a fucking phone, so I don't get it where people think, oh my gosh, he has a phone. Wow. No, I've always had a phone. Just because my parents put it out there that I don't have a phone, that's them. I don't talk to my parents. I'm not in communication with my parents, and I don't want to talk to my parents. I'm a grown-ass woman, 21, but I'll be 22. And if I don't want to talk to my parents, I don't have to talk to my parents. I don't have to talk to nobody in this fucking world if I don't want to. This is exactly why I don't post on social media, because people are going to say what they want. People are going to take whatever they want and turn it into whatever they want. But at the end of the day, let it be known that I am definitely in love with Robert fucking Kelly R. Kelly. Yes, that is mine. Okay? And I could give a damn about what anybody say. Like, I am so heated right now. Like, for my parents saying, oh my God, I want you to be happy. I want my child to be happy. I'm happy with R. Kelly, so let me live my fucking life. Like, let me live my life. Okay, first of all, the only reason why I was trying on stuff is because it's Justin's birthday and we're out and we're celebrating for her. And like literally, even before Robert was locked up, we were going to celebrate anyways. Literally one month ago, I was in Florida doing hookah, turning up, living my fucking life. And that's when I was with Robert. Okay? So for people saying, oh, she's held hostage, she can't do this, she can't do that. No, yes, I can. I move at my own pace, though. And if I don't choose to see you, maybe it's the reason I don't see you. Maybe it's because you a snitch. Maybe because it's you're a liar. Maybe it's because you said some foul shit about me that wasn't even true. Did you ever think of that? At the end of the day, I'm happy with Robert. He's the love of my life. And I'm always going to support him and be my life side. I don't need no money. I don't need my parents to buy me no apartment because I got my own. Okay. I'm eating good. I'm not missing no meals. Don't worry about me. Keep my name out your mouth if it's not nothing good to say. Like, I'm so fucking done. The reason why I'm not even on social media is because people always twist everything that I say and I post. So why would I be on social media? I literally just posted literally one day and it's gotten all over the shade room. Like, are you serious? That's like, that's mind blowing. And then people wonder why I'm not on social media. People wonder why Justin's not on social media. We have the right, if we don't want to be on social media, we don't have to. Look at how everybody twists our shit. And his lawyers are going to prove that he's innocent. I mean, FBI came with the same charges. Homeland Security came with the same fucking charges. Racketeering, child pornography, child pornography, child pornography, like, damn, I thought y'all was the smart ones, but y'all still doing the same shit, the same 2008 trial that he was acquitted on, but okay, you're the smart ones, okay, great, great, just keep doing your job, but Robert, that's my baby, and I'm always be by his side, because I love him, and when you find somebody that you love, you're gonna love them unconditionally, and that you're gonna be loyal to them and that's not called being brainwashed baby that's loyalty okay maybe you need to learn what loyalty is so i'm gonna be in new york i'm gonna be at court and look i'm gonna be staring at the back of his head so hard because i'll be like oh boy i can't wait for you to get home i can't wait for you to get home because at the end of the day i love him that's who i love so i'm 21 about to be 22 like i said if i fall in love with somebody i fall in love with somebody if i fall in love with a drug dealer if I fall in love with a crackhead. If I fall in love with an 80-year-old fucking woman, I have the right to. 
Leave me the fuck alone and let me live my life. Let me be happy. Can I breathe without you worrying about me? Like, worry about your own bills. Worry about your own kids. Worry about your own household. Because I am good. Please leave me the fuck alone. And fuck you with sandpaper dick for whoever put my story on the shade room. Fuck you. It's just funny. We finna watch how a woman can go from head over heels in love to seeing that things may not be looking the way we expected, so we're gonna jump ship. This doesn't look like a person that is brainwashed, in my opinion. And at, th at this particular point, R. Kelly is in jail. So who was making her do this, I wonder? Hmm. My last conversation that I had with him in Chicago, you know, he inspired me and told me, there, just do what you want to do what makes you happy. He told me to continue to pursue my dreams, pursue whatever I want to pursue. And that's really all that I would be able to do. So don't blame me when the shoot don't stop. When kids are not obeying their parents. Or when kids are listening to rap music or R and B music or sexual music that I, I put out or whatever. Blame the parents. It's it's not about what the world thought it was about. It was about me getting relationships with my daughter. Don't paint no picture like I have not talked to you guys in over a year because I would call you guys four or five months at a time. So to believe something like that, so extreme, so bizarre, so outrageous, I just couldn't even fathom my parents, my parents believing something as bizarre as that. This team true, they want to keep playing these fucking games. And if you didn't know, that they was gonna need somebody to front line, they little scam. Clearly, you ain't paying attention. I find it very strange that in the same time period, these people wanna proclaim their child is a sex slave. They're on her fan page posting for the D challenges. What kind of shit is that? The little photos they release. Is this supposed to prove a point? Because I could swear the narrative is they had to wear baggy things. And this don't look like no baggy sweatpants. And matter of fact, the closer I look at this picture, it look like some Photoshop. Just saying. Why is there looking like a grass spot? In, in the middle of his arms there. Just an observation. This don't look like no hostage situation. And we see that this girl can clearly cry at the drop of a dime. So whatever happened in between her and R. Kelly, she has put on display the levels women will go. One minute they're in love, the next they hate you and will do whatever is necessary to make themselves rise. Clearly, this girl has made herself look like a complete fucking fool on the internet. And you have these teen truth people encouraging the fuck shit. Why? Because they need to backpedal out of some of the illegal activities they've engaged in over the last period as they call themselves seeking the truth. When really, they want to talk about intimidation, bullying, threatening. Go back to all the videos that have been put up about Angelo Clary, for example, by Nika Knight. 
threatening her. And even a couple weeks ago, he's ranting and raving, talking about he's going to expose all the bloggers that are commentating on this case. Why? None of the bloggers went to the news media and gave a story trying to look for fame and clout. But if it's going to make you feel better on your truth charade, trying to blast people, go right ahead. But what you should have been doing was spending more time with your child, as you say. Talking about on this bullshit documentary, regardless of what people say, it's about you building a relationship with your child. Well, maybe if your rap sheet wasn't so long, you could have been building that relationship. And maybe that relationship would have kept her from having such a low self-esteem that she's willing to put her career on ice to cater to a man and then take on this vengeful attitude. Is this what they're going to rest their case on? This type of witness who's all over the place, who's had multiple, multiple videos in which she's had the opportunity to speak her truth. But she spent months trying to dick ride and satisfy and appease the fans of her boyfriend, so to say. And now that she wants to use the excuse that so many bullied her and harassed her because they saw through her shady ass character, that's the reason why she's turning R on R. Kelly, which is some bullshit. If you ask me, all this shit has been set up. Some people will say not. But I think it's too convenient for the way things have been laid out. From the way her page was set up to the way she has meticulously posted certain things to get a reaction out of people. And even that fake-ass Joycelyn Patreon account, which, if you ask me, I think Team Truth had something to do with. Why isn't the, the FBI pulling all this information subpoenaing all these records to solidify this fact that the levels these people are willing to go through to keep these lies going. Too many articles are contradicting the bullshit that they call their story. Like for example, in the docuseries they gave you Kitty Jones and Asante McGee who were supposed to be alleged girlfriends who are, according to this article, they were part of the inner circle giving information about what's going on. So, were these people handlers, enablers, now trying to be victims to keep themselves from being prosecuted? Have they subpoenaed all these people's records, criminal records, background checks, have they done that? It's a fact. They know that all these witnesses and accusers have shady backgrounds and have lied. Many have openly said they lied about their age, including Azrael Clary. Now, if you ask me, all these people have found it more beneficial to do certain things to keep this man locked up. That's what I see. It's a lot of people, according to these stories, that should be incarcerated right now. But they're not. Why is that? Oh, because they're willing to keep these storylines going. Maybe, just maybe, oh, Angelo found a way to outsmart Tim Savage. Because if you've been following this story, 
Tim Savage is the cause of all this. He brought out the Clarys with his little press conference. If it wasn't for Tim Savage, the Clarys probably, probably wouldn't have been involved. And from there, we witnessed the savages going back and forth with the Clarys. The savages always having, or, well, not the savages, Jonjolin, to be more specific, always finding ways to get under the Clarys' skin. So is it possible that the Clarys have figured a way to get the last laugh and use their daughter to put the icing on the cake? You see, Tim Savage likes to file all these goddamn police reports. And if we think back, that seems like an ultimate checkmate to have your daughter press charges against the daughter of the person who keeps playing games with you. Just something to think about. In short, I find it hard to take anybody talking about a non-profit serious when their whole organization is built on lies. And if you ask me, this is part of the scheme with these scammers, starting these non-profits, putting these donations on their websites after being attached to such scandals. Following the lead of people like the mute R. Kelly, who I believe have funneled so much money and have produced what? How are you going to have a non profit organization talking about helping kids when you yourself have a child abuse on your record, Team Truth? Make that shit make sense. In short, we've heard Azrael in her own mouth defending R. Kelly for months and months and months and months, even though R. Kelly has not been around. We saw her set up that fight with Joycelyn, then try to play the victim like she was just going there to help her. No. Whatever happened between her and R. Kelly pissed her off to the point that she decided she needed to do what she needed to do for her best interest. Maybe she's been convinced that R. Kelly's going to be locked up for a while. Who knows? Either way it go, her character has been shown. Have you been watching? Lifetime told you. And Mute R. Kelly told you this bullshit of how nobody cares about the black woman. And people ate that up. But the truth is, if you know your history, these people cannot fool you. You can see past the propaganda. At the end of the day, the case against R. Kelly is weak flawed and relies on a whole bunch of he say she say an unreliable witness matched with tainted evidence so as far as miss azriel feeling like she's going to be this newfound advocate i like to know who's going to follow this dumb shit <laughs>